Hello, and welcome to the spider on the wall. Ba bam. Ah, oh, there, there you go. Eee. And, oh, my knuckles just cracked. What, hear this? Nice. But, let's see what we're getting ourselves into. Okay. It's been three hours since you took the road. The forest path looks very wide, but there's no houses in sight. Only trees for miles around. It felt like you had entered a different world. You look back at your reflection in the mirror. You look exhausted. Yee, that's bad. You notice a small motel complex about 10 minutes away. Okay. Huh, nice. It seems like a good option for l lodging or whatever. The parking lot looks so empty, so you park close to the building. A couple of minutes later, you are walking through the doors and making your way inside. Okay. Wow. Huh. You walk straight to the counter and tell the receptionist your name okay what is my name um wait fuck <laughs> mr mag oh fuck i can't type either oh. mr mag it's mr magman He smiles politely and tells you they have a room uh, uh, ah, available for $80 per night. Hmm, not so bad. He hands you a card key and points you in the direction of the elevator. Alright. You thank him and then head upstairs. Once you reach the top floor, you head toward the end of the hall and you slip into your new room. Nice. Look at this nice room. Is that the spider? I can't tell, but, um, it, what? Huh? The door closes behind you and the lock clicks. Your heart pounds in your chest and you exhale deeply. Okay. Feels good to be alone again. You sit on the edge of the bed and remove your boots. Okay. They don't fit well anymore anyway. Take them aside and stretch your legs out onto the bed. Alright, and... When you finish undressing, you lay back on the bed and close your eyes. Nice. Try to remember something pleasant. Hmm. Your mother always was kind. Alright. And she told you stories when you were young, tales of heroes and monsters. Hmm. Uh-oh. The night. Silence. You heard a noise. An eerie chill ran down your spine. That sounds close. Ooh, what was that? What is that noise? 10 p.m. Suddenly you felt a presence. You felt a presence. Hmm. Someone is watching you. What? You turn around slowly. Oh, Jesus! You could sense him. A tall, thin man is staring back at you. What? Who that? Who that right there? I don't know, but you couldn't see his face in the dark. Ah, that's that's great. He doesn't look human. Well, clearly, the room suddenly went silent. Huh. You scream, but nobody heard you. Oh, he's in a dream for sure. The figure disappeared. He disappeared. No way. It's okay. I'll be fine. It's not real. Just a dream. I can handle it. You open your eyes and look around the room. Empty. You sigh softly before getting back to sleep. <sighs> oh, mom! Uh, your phone's ringing. Uh, answer, of course. You answer without thinking and she immediately starts talking. Hey, how's everything going? Fine. You hear her take a deep breath, probably trying to contain herself. Is this a bad time? I mean, I know it's late, but 
She trails off and sighs loudly. Not really. What's wrong, Mom? I miss you a lot. Aww. There is a brief pause. Didn't you get my message? I sent you a letter yesterday. Did you get it? Her voice cracks slightly. Oh god, this is not my mom. There's no way. Yeah, sorry, been busy. You sigh heavily and roll your eyes. Why can't we just do this over Skype or something? This is taking forever. Because then you won't listen. You have to come home. Home. I'm not going anywhere until this is done. If you don't come back by tomorrow, I'll call the cops. What? What a pain. You should be used to it by now, though. Every time you try to leave, she says something like this. I hate you, but I love you, too. Oh. Go ahead and call them. I don't care. Don't make me cry, please. It's embarrassing. She really makes you feel special, doesn't she? Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> crap. Yeah, you can't blame her, though. You've been gone for quite some time, and she misses you terribly. I think it's safe to say she loves you, right? You end the conversation with her and turn off the phone. You lay back on the bed and stare up at the ceiling. You sigh and rub your temples, okay? Someone's knocking at the door. Oh, crap. <sighs> you groan and roll over in the bed as you look at the clock. Where's the clock? Where? Wait. Oh, it's been only 20 minutes in, so you quietly pull on a pair of pants and you go into the door. With a, what? You open it and find a little kid standing there. He has short brow... He has short brown hair and is wearing a hoodie and a weird robe. Huh. Pretty badass. Spider. His name is... Oh. Why did he get so quiet once I realized? He says with a smile. Can I help you? Can you draw me a sheep? A sheep? Huh. He looked down at the piece of paper in his hand. Who are you? I'm in the next room with my mom. Ugh. What happened to her? You ask her. You ask curiously. She died. Oh. What? 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 what, what? <laughs> like, just imagine just standing there like this, and you're like, "Yeah, my mother died." <laughs> what the? Oh, I'm sorry. So, can you draw a sheep? Okay. Sure, what kind of sheep do you want? She stares blankly at you. A sheep? Yeah, this is pretty simple. My, well. You shrug and begin sketching your idea. It takes you a few minutes and it isn't perfect, but you think it will suffice. What a nice looking sheep. This is actually not that bad. He did better. He can do better than I can, so. Thanks. You give him a quick salutation and turn back to bed, okay? Well, he's cool. You pick up your phone to check the time. 2.47 a.m., how? You hear a sound, but you ignore it. You place your phone back on the bedside table and close your eyes. You sit upright in bed and glance around your room. Nothing. You close your eyes and breathe slowly. The noise keeps going. You open your eyes and look in the different. What the fuck? Oh. You open your eyes and look in the direction of the noise. It's under the bed. Oh god, it sounds like a rat. It. What the fuck am I looking at? Is that a rat with a spider? With a spider in it? Or like worms? What? 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 This is. Ooh, that was revolting, but okay. You wake up and look around your bedroom. Nothing. Your head hurts. Your head hurts. You yawn and stretch. You don't remember falling asleep. 
Nah, motherfucker. Oh, here, here it is. You feel observed. You look around and see nothing. You close your eyes and focus on your breathing. Calm, deep, slow. You hear someone whispering. Okay. You open your eyes and look around the room. Look at the hole in the wall. That's a gigantic hole in the wall. Like, I'd be very concerned if I had that wall right there. Very, very concerned. And you stare at the hole. You try to sleep. It opens. It opens up to darkness. Uh, staring at the hole. You feel a presence, of course, because there's a damn spider in there. You, something dark moves through the portal. The portal? You scream. Bat. Game. Oh. What the? Was that it? No. Oh. But game over. The spider crawl out of your ear fed. What? The spider crawl out of your ear fed. Well. Guess what? We're playing it again. Yep. Oh, wait. I'm, I, you cannot find sleep, so you decide to check on the receptionist. You make your way downstairs into the lobby. Oh, nice. <sighs> the old man is sitting behind the desk listening to the radio. He looks up and smiles when you approach. Good morning, how's your room? You nod. It's fine. Would you like to order food? You shake your head. No thanks. How can I help you? Leave the motel, go back to your room. Leaving the motel is the smartest thing to do right now. I'm leaving the motel. Instead of leaving the motel, the old receptionist looks at you. Receptionist. Are you sure? There is so much more to see. You nod. I have to go. Thank you for everything. He nodded. Take care. Also, thank you for the sheep. No problem. You head out of the motel. Huh. You take the road. It's the end of the story. You have thoughts about yourself. I'm me. You're you. In the end, it doesn't matter. There was no reason to be here. You're thinking about your mom. Your mom had good intentions. So did everyone else. They all wanted the best for you. The world's just full of bad situations. People who loved you, everyone wants the same thing. To see you smile. Oh. You try to hold back your tears. But then they come uh, come uh, any, anyway. And they come anyway. It hurts. You just want to go home. Oh. Uh, that was definitely that's a different ending. But hey. I'm doing it again. Yay! Thank you for playing. Now, it's time to do the bad ending. <sighs> Mom. Yes. All right, I'm down here again. Where will we go next? All right, now I will be going back in my room. Wait, no, no, no! I didn't mean to do that. Oh my! Any place, every place. Where there's hate, where there's prejudice, where there's. I'm just.
Well, I messed up on accidental, so now I have to do everything again. I'm just gonna go through this as fast as possible. Ultra speed. Oh fuck. You try to sleep and and go back to my room. You head back to your room. And after thanking him, as you walk, you hear a strange noise coming from your room. The door of your room is open. Oh man, you heard a baby cry baby crying. You head towards the the room. Once you reached the door, you opened it and saw a strange rope going through the hole on the wall. Oh no. Um, there was also something tied around the end of the rope. Yeah, you, you try to pull the rope, but the knot is tight. You decide to enter the... You decide to enter into the hole. Aw, oh, mother... Tr oh, God. Jeez. Um, you follow the rope through a red hallway to a dark room. The baby is getting louder. Oh, what the fuck? What is that? Suddenly, there is a blast of light and it turns dark. What? What? What in the world is what in the what? And what? What? Huh. No, oh. I'm back here again. So now I'm, now I just leave the motel. Okay. Well, that was it. Huh. Well, that was interesting. I, I, that was actually really interesting. I'm not gonna lie. Very odd, but... Hey, it was, it was great. I loved it so much. But... Wow! I hope to see games like this again. This is really great. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, have a good one. Goodbye! Milk Bar Biscuit Man!